In the last couple of episodes, we learned how to select data inside a database and how to insert data inside a database. Now, when it comes to inserting data inside any kind of database, we need to make sure that we do this in a safe way to make sure nobody can go into your database and destroy it or read the data we have inside the database. So, so far inside these lessons here, we've been using something called procedural programming, which means that we want to use PHP code, we just simply inside our code, write the PHP code and use it wherever we need to use it. And when we use PHP code the procedural way, there's two methods we can use in order to make it safe for people to insert data inside our database. Now, when I talk about it being safe, I'm talking about people that goes to your website, like the one we did in the previous episode, where we talked about how to insert data from your website. So what essentially they'll do is inside our browser here, they'll actually go into your form, start writing information. But in one of these inputs, they'll start writing code which then gets sent to your database and seen as code. And we don't want people to be able to do this inside our website because they could essentially say that they want to create something or destroy something inside our database directly from our website. So we need to make sure we don't allow people to do this directly inside the website. So like I said, when it comes to procedural programming, there's two methods we can use inside PHP. Now the first one here I'm gonna show you guys, which we're just gonna focus on this episode, is a method where we go in and get the data that the user typed in inside the form and then escape the characters to make sure that the database only sees the text as text and not as actual code. So when we do actually have the form inside our index file, which we created in a previous episode and send the data to our signup.ink.php file, then we want to do something in between here, which escapes the text that the user typed in and then makes it into characters. Okay, so inside our signup.ink.php file, we did actually get all the data from the previous form inside the index page by creating variables and set them equal to the actual data. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is after the first variable, which is called first, after the equal sign, we're gonna say we have a PHP function called my SQLI underscore real underscore escape underscore string parentheses. Now inside the parentheses, we need to have two different parameters. The first one is going to be the database connection to our database. And the second parameter is going to be the actual data that the user passed on from the form. So inside the parentheses, we're gonna go ahead and say we have a variable called variable con, which is the connection we have inside our database connection over here. So our actual database connection line is equal to variable con. So just simply include that inside as parameter one. Then we're gonna say comma, space, and then we're just gonna go ahead and take the data from the previous form and just paste it inside the second parameter. I'm gonna go ahead and save this one. And now what we basically just need to do is copy paste this inside the rest of the variables underneath here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy, paste, 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 and paste, as well as getting the last part of the actual function and pasting them as well. So right now we just escaped all the different characters we have inside the code that the user passed on from the previous form to make sure the database doesn't see this as code. And just to point out what I mean when I say that the database is gonna see this as code if we don't do this, if I were to type some kind of SQL code inside my website here, and then it gets passed onto our code and insert inside the SQL statement we have down here. If I were to go inside one of the values here where we have variable first, variable first would actually get replaced by whatever we have inside variable first up here, which means that whatever it's equal to, and if we were to write code, it means that the variable first is equal to some kind of SQL code. So basically what just happens inside the SQL statement is that it replaces variable first with actual SQL code. Where we can actually go ahead and close off this statement and write a new statement if we want to, and say it has to maybe destroy a table called users if you want to do that and then all the users inside your database will be deleted and we don't want to do that so to make sure that doesn't happen we need to make sure we escape the characters inside our code okay you should never take the post statement directly and insert it inside your values down here okay because if we do that we don't get a chance to escape the characters so we just talked about how to escape characters using mysqli but when it comes to procedural PHP coding, there's actually another way which is called prepared statements, which is actually much safer to use. And depending on what you need to do with the database, it can also be much faster to actually do than using MySQLi. Now in the next episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually do prepared statements using PHP programming when it comes to procedural programming. And then in a later episode, it's my plan to create a login system with you guys so you can actually start using the stuff we've learned inside these lessons here 
to actually build something you can use inside a website. Now, when we build this login system, it's not going to be built using prepared statements in the first episode because prepared statements can for newer people be a bit tough to understand. So when we do actually get to login system tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to do it using MySQLi to begin with. And then in the episode afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace it with prepared statements, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.